actually, before I go in, as you can see up here, each Pokémon has a different ability that comes to play. And they'll have different attack strengths as well. Ideally, to get the most damage, you want to choose the Pokémon with the strongest attack power that also have a type advantage. But I find situations where, like, this Eevee would come in handy. But we haven't gotten to that point in the game. So instead of grinding it up because I like Eevee, <laughs> Because I don't always play a smart league, sometimes I just use Pokemon I like. Nope. Oh, get back, Eevee. I guess Eevee's not so bad, because it's actually stronger than the Pidgey that we just caught. Whatever, if the game recommends going like this, then let's just go for it. In case you can't tell, this is more of a game that I like to play without talking. It's weird, I, I had so much to talk about before, but I guess since... I condensed all the tutorial into a small amount of space. There isn't really as much to talk about. I'll probably cut out some of these levels until I get to a part of the game where... There's actually... Where there's actually things to talk about is what I'm trying to talk about. Oh yeah, I don't know if I mentioned. It's kind of hard to show off when the game did showed it off a lot easier before. But when I'm highlighting now, that also counts as a match. If you could get all the same Pokemon there, that would also work. I believe in L shape. A little harder to demonstrate. Something along that would also work as a match. Nevertheless, I am just gonna see what I can do with what we got here. That was a pretty nice chain. Even where it was able to break some of those blocks. Okay, if I can find a good place to swap an Eevee that would allow me to take advantage of the bubble source as well, that would be nice. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Yeah, the, if you wait long enough, the game will tell you what move you can make, but it's usually better to rely on your own instincts unless you absolutely have no idea what else to do. If you're a beginner, that could be a useful thing though. I'm just gonna go for this. Sometimes you just get lucky with the combos. Bulbasaur... I don't think that was that great of a play. <laughs> I could've probably played it better till the board comes into effect too. Nevertheless, we'll see how well we did. Yeah, this is a case of... You could probably do better to improve it, but they're gonna lower the catch rate on you. And there are gonna be cases where no matter how hard you try, you can't get the odds well. And it'll run away like that. And you have to wait for your hearts to refill or waste one of your jewels to get the heart gauge filled up so you can actually play more of the game. A bit of an annoying aspect for the sake of recording, but it works out better when you're just playing on your own. Trust me on that. Now, I'll probably see you guys later today to record the rest of this when I actually got more of the hearts. So, B. R. B. So, off the screen, I did a little bit of these levels. As you can see, some of these levels are pretty hard to take care of. And there's an example of three Pokemon stage. You just can't use your fourth Pokemon for that particular one. I don't think it's worth going into. Now, I left off on here, because this is a little different from the typical Pokemon catching. We're actually facing off against a trainer, this one. I mean, mechanic-wise, it's exactly the same, but you'll see what's different about it at the end of it all. I don't know why the trainer's all silhouetted in with that. But yeah, if we win this, we'll get a Mega Stone that'll make it evolve an Arneal, and what do you know, we just happened to catch an Arneal in the last one. It's like it's scripted or something! 
Oh, well, I don't know what it all means, but it sounds pretty good. So, beat the guy, get your hands and make stones. Profit. Alright. I think this is pretty much as good as any, so let's just go into it. And nope, I'm not gonna be putting anything into this. Gotta save our money for the more important stuff. The in-game money, that is. It's kinda sad I have to specify that there is a difference, nevertheless. Hmm. So, what would be my best play here? Oh, if I do this, I can get power 4. My Onil is more powerful than the other Pokemon, no? Still looking this play the best. Even got a little bit of a combo going from that. Not too much and <laughs> overpower much. Can to disrupt me every single turn. Hmm. Just just double checking to make sure there's no four or five that I'm overlooking here. Goodbye, Charmander. You are now wood. You become a woodmander. So I guess it's worth knowing that, essentially, despite the more impressive music and a few other m minor cosmetic differences, this is kind of the same as all the other puzzlers. It's just, the only difference will be at the end, so maybe I'll just cut to the end of this. And victory has become my championship, and you get to see not my greatest after game combo, but uh, that's a good one. So no catching scene because it's a trainer's Pokemon technically, but we do get the Mega Stone as a reward and a nice S rank. I find it kind of amusing that this is the one game where Onil is the first Mega Pokemon you get access to. I feel like it's kind of fitting, considering who I know and what they like. It feels like it's a good way to actually give Audio some tension. Oh yeah, when you do trainer fights like that, you also get a free jewel. So that's another way to try to earn in-game income without actually paying real-life income. And now we're going to get right into the concept of using this Mega Stone. First, the Pokemon that you need to evolve has to be on the far left. And only that Pokemon will be able to make it evolve. When Mega Evolution, the Pokemon gets like a secondary ability that comes into play when Mega Evolves and you make matches of it. They're pretty much well overpowered compared to everything else. I'm getting a little ahead of myself though. Let's see. Uh, let's go. Oh, I thought I was afraid she wasn't going to give me a heart because I had some. But yeah, this is a scripted event, so you pretty much get an additional heart. So you can do this right away, even if you exhausted all your resources, which I like. I don't know why this all uh, those things. I guess they want you to use the Mega Stone before you forget about it or something. So, step one. Oh! You know, I want. I actually want to use a different Pokemon for this. Because Eevee, if you remember, has an ability that boosts the Mega Evolution as well. But yeah, your primary way for making a Pokemon Mega Evolve is to make matches of it. And every. Once the Mega Balls, you'll trigger a special effect every time you match three of them in a row. Let me see if I can... Uh, let me see the quickest way to... Restart. Alright, I'm back with Eevees in play. So maybe if we get lucky, we can actually see Eevee come effect to help boost Mega Meter as well. 
I don't even know if we're really gonna need Eevee for just because we're doing pretty well boosting this gauge up without it. Hmm. I know we're supposed to match the audios, audios for this and that, but I just kind of really want to still go for the best combo possible. Because Metal, Mega Evolution might carry you through the first early parts of this game, but it alone won't be enough to really get through the more advanced level, so I'm just used to trying to advance myself. You can see here, when I make a match here, everything around it vanishes. <laughs> Which really leaves up the opportunity to make super combos like that. That's what makes up the whole Mega Evolution thing so good in this. Dun dun. It is catching music too. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch it all by his toes. If it hollers, then you grab too tight. Oh, please let go of the terror of the night. So many Eevees. Oh, it's just so beautiful when you got a nice stack like this. Especially when it goes all the way to wonderful. Uh, is there a way that I can match my Bulbasaur's and get this on you? I don't think so. I'm just gonna just stick to Mega Evolution since tutorial says so. Now I feel like I'd be doing so much better with this if I was just trying a little more. Ooh, a T of Eevees. I just can't ignore that. And it worked in my favor, hey. Let's see how hard it will be to catch this Pokemon. Are we at that part of the game yet where everything gets insanely difficult when it comes to catching? No, this is pretty much tutorial given, I see. Watch me miss it now, though. Dum. Dum. Doom. I really wonder how many of these are scripted and how many of them are not. So now that we got Mega Evolution, I think I'm gonna have Eevee around for a little while. That's just the way I normally play the game. Those have Mega Evolutions were awesome! Well, that's not all. Yes, now we finally got access to the online thing. Two days later, missing out on things. Oh, and that's the end of tutorials. The game pretty much ours to handle any way we want now that we got check in. Pardon me while I check in. You can see after checking in, we got this new area called Special, where the real over the top puzzles come in. Kelly, I don't even think we can cover yet. If I ever can, it's really tough. We could try the Pokemon of the day. I can tell you that I'll probably fail at it, but we can try it. I mean, I have yet to catch this thing even on my file, and I've gotten a lot more done than we have here. It just may be a quick and simple way to get through all of our concepts. Hmm. Eevees. Well, this makes a T of Bulbasaur, so that actually works out well to my favor. So, I'm pretty sure that by now this has been at least one video of its own, so... Since I got nothing else to say, I'm gonna start throwing questions at people and hope for interactivity that may not actually happen. So, have you guys tried this game out for yourselves yet, if you've seen part one? Did my awful commentary do any deal? of convincing you to try this for yourselves. Probably not, but I'm just gonna throw it out there. Give myself a little credit where credit is due. 
Oh, now I remember. Beating these aren't so... Beating this one's not so hard, it's a matter of catching it. Kelly, on the other hand, I have yet to actually beat. So you get to keep the little weeby weebies. Can we combo anything else with that, though? Oh, if I can find an Eevee to replace... ...the Squirtle, then... Like that! That can actually work out rather nicely. Hmm. Ooh, look at that combo just rack in. <laughs> Eight percent catchability rate. Yeah, I think you can see what I mean of how ridiculous some of these can be. Oh, here was the whole concept of the Great Ball. You can see the odds increase, but not by a lot. This is just for demonstrational purposes, so I don't think I'm going to be showing that off. Goodbye, little Siggy Lif. See, I got a perfectly good S rank. And I, my odds of catching that Pokemon were still freaking ridiculous. Oh, don't say that the main game doesn't do that. I mean... Before I end things off, I'm going to show you just how stupidly tough this can all get. I was going to say ignore it before, but this will probably be a lot easier with our Mega Lotion on our stove. But you can see, blocked off, seven turns. I think that's bad enough. Wait until we actually get into the catch rate of the Pokemon. <laughs> You can see I'm puzzling along, doing rather nicely with my puzzling endeavors. Making matches, clearing the obstacles, getting combos, getting mega evolutions, getting the music to play, getting combos off the wazoo again. And what more should do the trick? What would be the best combo to make? Probably one with the mega evolution. That match and victory. How much overkill to this victory? And uh, not that much. But I did that relatively quickly, right? 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 I gotta have a good catch right now. Yeah, I know I'm hinting way too much. Seven percent. <laughs> and all of that only added like a little under thirty percent to the catchability rate. You see how stupid this game can get sometimes? And of course I catch it when I talk about how stupid it is. But you saw that percentages. Just because I defy the odds doesn't mean that the odds were still dumb. I think that's all I've got to talk about for Pokemon Shuffle though. Maybe it could show off someday. Some of the really advanced stuff. But that required a lot more progress on this. Including a lot of puzzles that I probably wouldn't have anything to talk about on screen. So that'll be it for me showing off Pokemon Shuffle. At least for now. Take care everyone.